Look at these houses. Big yards, white picket fences. It's the American dream, eh, Tommy? I suppose. Not for you? No, sir. I don't like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. Are that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city councilor? The same. Morell let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Well, where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. That him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. Don Salieri. Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. Si. Who capisce you? Tommy, if you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. Buona fortuna, ragazzi. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Piacere di di conoscerti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> Parli almeno un po' di italiano? Il capo ti ha detto il piano? Uh, I don't speak Italian. Eccellente. Ah, fantastico. Uh, no plan? Yeah, the boss told me. Ah, uh, please. Uh, uh, understand. Entriamo dal labirinto senza farci sentire né vedere. La cassaforte è dietro un dipinto al primo piano. Dammi un po' di tempo e lascia fare tutto a me. Quella cassaforte avrà sicuramente un allarme. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be a long night for the both of us. Ah, Cristo Santo. Ok, my turn. Do what I do. Do not get caught. Si. You gotta keep safe. Safe? Si. Uh, it's um, uh, my job. Apro casa forte. Open safe. Christ. Okay. Radio. Let's listen to the radio. Eccellente. view up here. A volte questo paese è estupendo. Ecco. Entriamo da lì. Wall. Labirinto. What? Oh, a maze. Si. Un labirinto. Stay here while I take out the guards. A quanto pare in America hanno i labirinti.
Sure wish I could have a night off. I sure wish I could have a night off. I sure wish I could have a night off. I think that's all of them. Salvatore! Where are you? We're clear. Tommy! I hear! Where the hell did he go? Son of a Tommy! Guy's a pain in the ass. Forza! Pieri! Come back!
Uf, sei un tipo tosto, eh? What? C'è un'entrata. Open. Kick. Kind of like picker, are you? Look for a dipinto. A uh, what? Ma, um, da Vinci, uh, Caravaggio, uh, hai capito? Painting? You're saying it's behind the painting? Si, si. Okay, I understand. Non quello. Guess we got another room to check. what you can do. Shit. Be quick, Salvatore. Pacenza, pacenza. Doesn't matter. Come on, we need to get out of here. Vai dietro, dietro. They gotta be upstairs. Oh, the safe's in his study. Hey, you like this? Salvatore, stay back! I'll deal with him. You hear that? Get over here now! Get in cover! Molotov! Gun's mine! Not one of them hurt. <sighs> Got you now! Get your first time. Forza! Andiamo, Cene! Pre! 
Ernesto. There's Samina Yi's theory. I know. Whatever you're saying, I know. Police? Salvatore, where do I take you now? Home. Yeah, where home? Uh, six uh, and uh, my port. <sighs> Good night. Night. Last of the good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for 10 years. But we gotta make payroll. Get it out of here. Heard him. Load it up. Good to see you, boys. Boss, any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah. And you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar and everything. <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns is south. And he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm. And he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tab? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick up from Kentucky. Moonshiner? Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries, and I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we gotta do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy. He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. Mm. We'll be cutting up the last beam pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Where's the meat? The big parking garage downtown. Okay, do it. But you better not be playing grab ass this time. You take Carlo and little Bill with you. Sure thing, boss. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. We won't let you down, boss. Don't make me regret giving you some time out there in the streets with the guys, Carlo. You don't have to worry about me. I know I don't. Tommy does that for me. I'll keep your driver safe, boss. Sam and little Bill said to meet him downtown. Okay, Carlo. Looking kind of like you shake yourself. Ah, get bent. Big moment, huh? Finally running with the pack. Listen, I spend more time with a Don than all of you put together. Sure, sure. Sat out on the road waiting till he's finished with his broad. <laughs> Do a lot of deals here. Parking attendant don't ask for much dough. Always closes up shop till I'm done. Okay, we're good. Gates is waiting up on the top floor.
Always seems clear so far. Only people with cars are people with jobs. Nine to five, place is deserted. Well, we got jobs and we're here. That kind of a job, sure. Anything else we need to know about Gates, Bowie? Only that he's got a bust-up nose and crates full of the good stuff. Our kind of guy. Our kind of guy. Park up over there. Holly! Good to see you, pal. Yeah, you too, Gates. Well, I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. I ain't really the expert here. Tommy! Oh, yeah. It's fine. Your first payment. If the Don's impressed, he'll finance more runs. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we are always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. <laughs> oh, damn it, Paulie! Uh, no, no! It's okay. Oh. What? I told you, we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing's gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, don't worry, pal. With all the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> took a bullet. This ain't as bad as it looks. Now take the booze and get. My guys will come for me. No, go, go, go. So long as you guys clear them out up ahead, I'll be safe here with the little guy. Carlo, in the cab with me. You know you stead. Tommy, check for more of them. This thing ain't over. Come on, I'll back you up. Got more of them. Got him over you. here. They got back up. Get the wind of these guys. Uh. Get the wind of these guys. <clears throat>
see fire sprinklers up on the ceiling. We need to turn them on. There's gotta no be a place to run. Someplace. Christ. Stay close and keep moving, fellas. New keep the boot safe. Over. I'll move the trap with you. Get over here more now. Shoot him. No <laughs> food inbound! I live through that. Follow him close. If I know Morello, he'll have guys on the streets. Lots of guys. Grab a set of wheels and watch my back. Sure, Sam. How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beefers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. I knew it! We got more guys on us! Okay, let's slow them down some. Hit them where it hurts!
we lost them all. Thank Christ for that. Let's head home. See what we got. We got the booze. I mean, I know it didn't go to plan, but we got the booze. Yeah. So tonight, me and you are gonna drink a bunch of it. I guess we earned that much. Looks like a 38. Morello's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Well, he took a slug to the shoulder, but uh, he's a tough blocker. He and his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet, man. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Saludo! Saludo! Sounds like Salieri was getting ready to make his move. Working up to it, maybe. But then, prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. No that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested it into new records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything except peddling dope. And by 35, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Paulie had a few records of his own. Wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it then? Content. Yeah, that was it. And Celieri, he finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. You think Salieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Why? Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. Playing him off on another, trying to goose the take. But once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. It was a missing piece. How was that? Morello was always winding us up. But he never did anything that might start an all-out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales. Because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. of his face and pasted it hey, on his face. Tommy. Oh, hey, boss. What's going on? I'm glad you're here. There you go, boss. I'm going to Pepe's for lunch, but Carlo called in sick. You up for a drive? Sure, boss. Bravo. I'm already starving. You got a piece on you? Yeah. You think I'll need it? Eh, you know how it is. Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy, is all. So how's business, Tom? Hey, you know how it is. It's good. Sure, I know the business. I see the books every day. But since what happened happened, I know that a capo needs to talk to his soldiers without some other guy getting in the way. I have been looking forward to this all week. Wait till you taste the cassata, Tom. Oh. Oh, more wine. Hey, more wine here, please, quickly. <laughs> You're going to love this wine. It's a... Don't forget it. 
Welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you, Pepe. Yes. Hey, come. Our guest has arrived, eh? What's on the menu today? My mother, she would be so honored if you tried her caponada. Excellent. Bravo, bravo. Oh, Benny, oh, let me get you a chair for you, huh? See, please. And to drink, a Chianti. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, bene, bene, bene. Okay. Huh? Uh, enjoy, huh? I'm glad you're off the rough, Tom. Uh, Sarah threatened to leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. She told you? No. I put her up to it. Drunkards get sloppy, Tom. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. <laughs> for you? And for you. <laughs> Peppy! The meal is a masterpiece as always. <laughs> Molto grazie, Don Salieri. Praise from such a gourmet as you, it filled me with joy. Uh, you wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. <laughs> Let me finish my wine. Hey, Salieri! Come out of there and we'll make this quick. Smoke them out, Joe. Shit, watch out! You move not fast enough. We're gonna ambush these boys. I'll keep them entertained while you slip out the back and circle around. You sure, boss? Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay, boss. Be careful. Tom, just be quick about it. Boss! It's clear! Uh. Oh. 
Oh, look at the balls on this kid. You really saved my ass, Tom. We gotta go, boss. The cops will be here soon. I need a minute to catch my breath. Well, let me get you back to the bar. No, not the bar. We're going to see Carlo. That son of a bitch knew where I was going today, and he calls in sick. He set you up. <sighs> to us, Tom, you could have ended up just as dead. Yeah, I know, boss. Carlo's shacked up with some Damon Holbrook. Let's go see what he has to say about all this. Step on it, Tom. Every minute Carlo's still breathing is a minute that's got me pissed. Sure, boss. Can't believe these bastards had the brass balls to wreck my car. Had to be Carlo, didn't it? His pop was tight with Morello right when we started out. Apple don't fall far from the tree, huh? I wept at his funeral. At his sons, I'll be laughing loud. His mom's already a widow, Tom, and now he's gonna make her lonely till the day she dies. For what? Some dough to buy his dope? And my foot through his face. Why don't you let me go first, huh? Carlo might be waiting for us. No, Tom, my face is going to be the first and last thing this bastard sees. <laughs> what the fuck? You goddamn dirty grifter. You better dangle, sweetheart. It's gonna be a closed casket, Carlo. <laughs> You okay, Buzz? Yeah, just a little one. Let me catch my breath. Jesus, he's fast for a big guy. Don't let him get away! Help! Help me, someone! Come back here, Carlo! They're going to kill me! Hey, we ain't finished with you! Tommy, Get back please. here now! I can explain! Think about this, Tom! Please! Let me talk to the boss! I can explain everything! Tommy, you gotta know! Morello, he was gonna kill Mom! I had to do it! Is he still alive? I'm not sure. Sergio, how are you? Keeping out of trouble? Sure. Who's this? Wait a minute. Is that Gordy? It is. Hey, Gordy, how you doing, buddy? Hotly recognized you. What'd he do? You said you were having some trouble down at the docks, right? Yeah. It's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, well, he did some asking around. This asshole was planning a strike. Strikes are no good for business. Unless you don't want to call him for it, right? <laughs> right. So I decided the union needed a change in leadership. Is that all right with you? Of course. Yep. Now, what about that uh, other thing? That's why I'm here. Salieri's still alive. What happened? I don't know yet. Crew we sent is dead. Restaurants all shot to hell. Stop your crying. Can't have a conversation here. What about uh, the cockroach Carlo? Found him with his head smashed in like a fucking watermelon. 
Never seen anything like it. Mm. So yeah, he must have figured color was the rest. God damn it. Even here myself think. It's gonna be a war. I told you to shut the fuck up! We've been at war since we killed Papone. It's just out in the open now. What do you want me to do? Make your rounds. Tell little boys to keep their eyes peeled and the powder dry. Okay. Put the word out. Hey. Just uh, keep your head down, little brother. You too, Don Morello. We're at the start of something. Something big. You think? Morello tried to kill the Don. Not Tommy, not Polly, not any... Hey, you need it up the stairs. I'll go straight up. It's war, Thumb. From today, we are at war. Haven't seen any trouble just yet. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. I want guards and lookouts round the clock. Here, the warehouse, and all our businesses. How about people under our protection? Our guy's in place. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first, we have to soften him up. Morel's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off, so we need to scare them into abandoning Morella's sinking ship. We bump off the right idiot. The rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counselor's still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. Pulling out all the stops, boobs, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just did normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellas are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay, I'll talk my way into the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore? Sam and Paul are down the docks working on that. You meet up with them there, and they'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. The lot is done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Buona fortuna, Tom.
Attention, folks, attention. We'll get you all aboard, but we will need to see tickets. The finest family in the city. No doubt in my mind. Who's done more? And all Parents! You got an invite, too? Oh. You don't look like a guy with an invite. I got friends. Just not these kind of friends. Well, I'll tell you what I got. A sailor back there who works on the steamer. His head hit something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. I'll go find him. I know you'd get a real job someday. So remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, find the gun. The janitor stashed it in the bathroom. Sure. Then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati's speech and pop him when he's done. And how do I get away? Polly's borrowed a speedboat. After the speech, there's fireworks. We'll come soon as we've seen him. You better be there on time. Don't worry. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. Looking good, Tom. The outfit don't get messed up. Keep it. You the new guy? Christ, you took your time. You think he's gonna pull this off? He sure is shit gonna kill Galati. Getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. He don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him. You almost done? Yeah. Was gonna go clean the bathrooms. Heard some guests complaining. You're volunteering to clean toilets? <laughs> Whatever. You got a rag there. Check every deck. Don't I know you from someplace? Nah, don't think so. I swear I know you. Were you with the Union, maybe? Sorry, buddy. I'm from out of town. I can't believe I got an invite. Drinks till dawn, the guy said. Seen the janitor any place? Nah, but uh, if I had to put money on it, drunk in the engine room. Say my name again, and you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Uh, yeah, I, I get that. What are you going to do about it? Well, I'm going to give you a beat, for starters.
fuck are you? Hey, John. Hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have a note for me, huh? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Hey, thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Hey, welcome to my...
I'm trying to do! Could be worse, huh? We could be peeling you off the front of the train. He just got a good break, is all. Sergio Morella's always been lucky. He was born with more brains than his brother, that's for sure. Well, get him, boss. No, you tore off this job. You're broken mirrors on this one. We'll let the guy who killed Galati take a crack. Tommy here's got all the politicians scared. Maybe he can put Sergio in the ground. What do I need to know about this guy? Besides, he's got a lucky rabbit's foot up his ass. Sergio is Morello's top earner. He controls the unions, which means he controls the docks and can tax everything that's imported into the city. We kill him, and a big part of Morello's income will be wiped out. Any ideas on how to get to him? I don't want to end up in a tree like these two. You're going to scatter his ashes. It's a custom job. Attach it to the starter under his car, he'll be a human torch as soon as he turns the key. It's safe to carry. Yes, don't drop it. Shake it. Smoke near it. Yeah, it's safe. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Get it done, Tommy. For all our guys Morello's killed. And for all the money he's taken out of our pockets. I'll take care of it, boss. There's no way they'd come here. I used to run with his crew. If Morello wakes up one morning and wants to come heavy, he'll come heavy. Nah, not...
Yeah, that's gotta be Sergio's car. How am I gonna get through to it? I'll be home before supper. Hey, you want to go dancing this weekend? Maybe drop the kid off at your pop's place. Yeah, I'm still here. Taran, you okay? Yeah, it's the car bomb. Things went south. We could draw about it later. Right now we gotta get that bastard. Let's go! What the hell? We got a message from Mr. Salieri. No! Kill these clowns! himself killed!
It's doing kill that motherfucker! Get every guy we got down here now! He's coming this way! Sweet dreams!
box him in! You finished! <laughs> 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 I see him! Lining up a shot! Follow my lead.
He's coming this way! Docks apart. Hey, hey, over here. We're losing, guys. Get cover. Box him in. Hit him from the side!
Fuck, fuck, what happened? There's some kind of fucking train? Guess he's split. Go find him! Found the ring! <laughs> <laughs> Kill me, and my brother will destroy everything you know! Come on! Let's finish! You just winged me, asshole! You think you're the guy who's gonna kill me? for weeks. Our guys against their guys, and Morello gone to ground. But a boss can't stay hidden forever. For a Don to be feared, he's gotta be seen. Finally, word came through that he was gonna break cover. Morello wants to thumb his nose at us. Taking a show like there's not a war on, we'll meet him in the streets. We do him like this. We wait outside the theater till the end of the show. All those rich assholes will start coming out. That's when we hit Morella and his gorillas. In a crowd, before they see us coming. The theater is going to be packed. And not just with saps. There's a good chance the mayor, maybe even the chief, might be there too. That's the goddamn point, Tom. We kill Morella in public, in front of the city's creme de la creme. Then they'll all know who's in charge. And it doesn't matter if you have a badge or a gavel or a fat wad of cash in your pocket. If you cross Salgari and his boys, you're dead. Okay, boss. We'll get it done. Take the machine guns. 
Make sure you don't draw attention to yourselves hanging around outside the theater. You keep the choppers hidden until you spot Morello. And then you light them up. I want it to look like that white suit is covered in roses. You got it. Sure, boss. This is it. We're finally doing this. Keep your head. We gotta get to the theater before the show's over. Tom, you're driving. We got the word, boys. Morello dies tonight. Tonight? Shit. Good luck, guys. <laughs> Put your foot down, Tom. Can't believe after all these years we're finally going after Morello. Not his crew, not his family. Finally putting him in the ground. We're putting a lot of history to rest. What happens when he's gone? We'll be kings. I see him! Let him have it! Protecting him. Let's get him out of the picture. You got it. We got cops on us. Bunch of them were staked out around the theater. Last time they get paid off by Morello, tomorrow they're ours. State for a while. We need to whack him tonight. Shake us off in the back streets. I know this city better than anyone. Don't worry. This is gonna be a squeeze. Morello's gotten himself a good driver, but he doesn't match you, Tom. all the way.
where is he going? He can't be skimping town with us going bumper to bumper with him. Well, wherever he's going, he's going there in a hurry. It's the airstrip. He's gonna go through the back. He's got a plane? Of course he's got a goddamn plane. There'll be more guys waiting. Good. We need to clean house. He's gotta die? This guy's gotta die. Okay, but let's keep us three off your list. They only just fixed up the airport since the last time. He's got muscle waiting. I see him. Back here. Come on, Tom. Gorilla's gotta be close.
get in the damn car! Get us into the air! We don't have the speed! Take us up! It's gonna take off! Shoot out the engines! Are we even making it get? It's no good! This isn't gonna work! It has to work! He's in a fucking plane! He can't let me shoot! He's not out of here yet! Okay! Now the other! Blow a boat! I'm taking the wheel! Why? Because I'm the guy that drives! And now we got a plane to catch! I'm re okay, here's what's happening. We follow it. We see where it lands. We rush in, all guns blazing, and we finish them off. No way that bird's staying in the sky. That thing's not gonna land, it's gonna crash. It look, uh, aeronautic to you. But thank Christ we got you in the car, Professor. Morello's not gonna walk away from a plane crash. That's a maybe, but he ain't dead till we've seen him dead. Out of all of us, you two should know that by now. Where's he trying to take it? Maybe out near the racetrack. More chance of landing it safe outside the city. He'll land maybe, but it's not gonna be safe. Wherever he comes down, we'll be there soon after. Is it gonna go? Yep. Yeah. It's going. We don't have time to relax. We gotta be sure he's dead before the cops show. No one's gonna survive that. Hell of a lot of smoke. I can't believe we did this. I know. Don't seem real. Stay alert with your guns close. We've come too far to get... <clears throat> What's with you today, Tom? What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Stay alert with your guns close. We've come too far to get lazy at the end. We don't have long. Every cop in the city is gonna be on his way. We get out, we check the wreckage, we leave. Got it? Sure we do. Daddy doesn't even know it yet. He knows it now. Yeah, pal. That'll do it. Come on. Let's make tracks. See you on the other side, Marku. You fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. You do life for this, Tom. Maybe you in the chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri. The Don's books. 
The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever, and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family. For the Don. You recognize anyone? Look again. <sighs> Old man, that's Don Popone, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. <laughs> that must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. <laughs> Jesus. They're just kids. Now they're Eddie's soldiers in Papone's mob. So what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> but you don't know could fill up the fucking crash they're building. In 22, Papone drowns up at the lake. Right? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello created Debbie up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Right, a friendship should have made the deal work, but didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good it was all of Morello's money if we couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me? Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought, it just kept turning round and round in my head until one day, I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears of the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I, I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam pointing a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, then the guy next to you isn't just your partner, He's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adon were whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. Any trouble? No bus, no trouble at all. Got something else for me? All these feels a little light. There's a little extra in mine to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. I knew a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. He starts shouting for help. Now the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend. And I know you're loyal to him. And I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. 
Okay, boss. Good. Now, we gotta talk about this Turnbull. The guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust the hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations, and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you'll give Turnbull the third eye. Okay. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and this crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'd be talking to someone else. And get it done. Hey, handsome. <laughs> Ladies. You're wasted on that wife of yours. You know that? Uh, he'll never look up. Hey, Tommy. The boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Now, Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat to the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in the room with a view. Up on the top floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Find a way inside and make for the guard tower. Friend said you wanted the guard tower. Bade me to mark the way with this sign. Folks go through the sewer. Only way in. Then just keep heading up. Hey! Get out of there! We ain't going nowhere! Coming true. No. Well, you ain't one of us. You're not welcome. I'm warning here. you, mister. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave us be. Is that you, cop? You're locked up tight. Not someone's coming through.
help? There'd be more of you to evict us. been out. Declared dead at the scene.
Detain everyone you see! The police! It's the police! Ainsley told me to say the shadow came from the guard tower. The place is a damn maze. Sure, it could be anywhere. The gunman is long gone, if you ask me. Yeah, it's up to the table. Full force knows it. No one does a thing. You'll never get us out of here! This place is ours! How about he comes out on patrol for once?
Officers on Central Island. Suspect has been lost. Keep patrolling. <laughs> All cars, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. Did you hear about this Turnbull? Heard he was crooked as the day is long. It says in the paper he's going to be remembered for fighting to pass the 19th Amendment. Put his whole career on the line for it. Which one was that again? Woman suffrage, you idiot. He gave me the right to vote, Tom. Gave it to his wife and six daughters, too. Guess nobody's just one thing, are they? Guess not. I gotta go to work. <sighs> Tom, don't do nothing you don't want to be remembered for, you hear me? Bradley, too late for that. <laughs> Yeah, it's great, boss. And this is just a taste. I got a line on a whole shipment of Cameroons that have been impounded by customs. You guys are going to grab them. You want us to boost cigars? Something wrong with that? Customers in our nightclubs are paid through the nose for quality cigars. Still, it seems, I don't know, small time. I just knew you were a smart one, Tom. Can't put nothing past you. Small time is exactly right. That's how it's supposed to look, anyhow. The cigars are just a cover for a shipment of hot ice. The smuggled diamonds have been hidden in some of the boxes. The feds haven't found them yet. We're stealing diamonds from the feds? Don't worry about it. I've already discussed all the details with Sam here. He'll fill you in. Now, I got a meeting with the mayor at his favorite gentleman's club. Work out the details together. But I want those cigars back here before anyone catches on to the real loot. You got it? Sure, boss. Great. And don't drink all the good stuff while I'm gone. You know about this. Boss and I worked it out last night. We got a plan. Now, I'm not saying it's a good plan, but it won't get us killed. Probably. So what, then? We got a guy on the inside or something? No. We got to do this on our own. And it'll be rough. Cigars are packed in crates. 
at the harbor. Shit. The place will be crawling with security. Yeah. Brute force won't work. We gotta play this one cool. So we're gonna steal a customs truck. Slip right in. <laughs> Christ. And kill the poor bastard driver. No. We'll just scare him a bit. All we need is his paperwork. Right. We don't need the hassle of dumping a body. Come on. See if we can get eyes on a customs truck down by the docks. You all right, Tom? Yeah. Just trying to figure out the angle is up. What's there to figure? Boss says a job needs doing, we're doing it. it. Just seems like a lot to put on the line. Even for some diamonds. The feds pinch us. We can do serious time. Then let's make sure we don't get caught. Right? Yeah. I got gear for the job stashed down near the harbor. If either of you need something special, go see Vinny. All I need is a stiff drink. For Christ's sake, Polly, just lay off for one night, please. Making me nervous playing around with your piece like that. Sorry. Just got a lot on my mind as well. <laughs> that show. I'd have figured there wasn't enough room up there. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, assholes. You guys are done. I don't even think I got plans. But you're wrong. You got big plans. Yeah. Spill it then. What are you working on? Been thinking about hitting up a savings and loan downtown. You want to rob a bank? Sure. I've been casing the place for months. I got it all worked out. I just need a few guys I can count on to watch my back. We're robbing a bank that's a little out of our league. We're robbing the fucking feds, ain't we? What's the difference? Well, Salieri's the goddamn difference, you nitwit. The Don sent us to steal these cigars. There ain't no way he sanctions a bank job. Well, then we don't tell him. You want to step out on the dime? No. Not really. We can cut him in after we make the score. He'll be bent, sure. But he won't stay mad once he gets his share. I don't know, Polly. Yeah, I fucking know. You do what you want. I won't say nothing. Yeah, I owe you that much. But Salieri? Well, he finds out you're going behind his back, you'll be planted right next to Morello. You ask me, there ain't no hall worth that. He's right, Polly. You bring it to the Don, or let it go. Yeah. Just get to daydreaming, you know. Wake up. We're here. Tom, you take the car. Find a custom truck and meet us near the impound. Me and Polly, we'll go get the rest of the gear. Right. You got your head together. Yeah. Sober as a priest. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, quit busting my balls. I'm good.
Park up over there, Tom. Where's my uniform? Huh? Uh, this is all we got, pal. Besides, there's only room for two in the cap. You can ride in the back. Make sure you keep your head down or this whole thing is blown. Forget about it. I know when to keep my head down. Mm. Make you say that to all the girls. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get moving. All right, all right. Jesus Christ. You comfortable back there, Tom? What the hell do you think? What's the plan when we get to the impound? I don't know. We look for crates that came from Cameroon or something. The cigar place. You know how big the impound is. Relax. It'll be empty this time of night. We'll have the run of the place. You got your papers? Ah, uh, crap. Uh, yeah. Uh, Pete, you got the papers? The dash. What was that? What was what? What? Here you go, pal. All right, go through. Busy night tonight. You might not find a spot. You hear that? There's gonna be guys everywhere. It'll be fine. We just gotta think on our feet. Thinking on my feet is my worst thing, Sam. You know that. What kind of time do you guys call this? We need to have gone through these shipments by sunup. Yeah. Sorry, we couldn't find our papers. But we found them again. Just show us what to do, pal. We're new. We're all new, buddy. It's just that some of us know what time we gotta clock in. Come with me. Okay, Tom, looks like it's on you. Get into the warehouse and find a cigar crate that's hiding the diamonds. Okay. They keep records on everything here, so search their files. You're looking for Cameroon cigars that came in on a boat called the Bohemia. Ship docked on Tuesday, 23rd. Got that? Yeah. Don't get caught. Don't get seen. Come find us when you're done. They got guys working overtime tonight. Needle in a haystack ain't even the fucking word. Just look for something, anything out of place. No way are we gonna get through all these crates. Not even in a week. So you get paid for a week. Quit complaining.
Come on, fellas, let's speed this up. Now, once we're done with the small crates, we'll start cracking open the big ones next door. Money's good, but boy, these feds are assholes. Must have been through a hundred vaxes already. Fuck me, fucking tired. <laughs> 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 Interesting. Ah, crap. Place is huge. Okay, boys. Check each crate, then we'll start cracking them open. There's hundreds! Ah, then lucky you. Have an all Shall night to search them. Found them. There he is. You sure we're getting what we came for? We're aces, boys. Good. Let's get them loaded and get out of here. That's the last of them. Let's dangle. I'm not riding in the back again. You're a better wheelman anyway. Just don't drive us into the bay. Shit. You hear that? Okay, Tom. Got it. Let's go! Let's go! Jesus, Tom, it ain't comfortable back here, huh? Through the gates! 
been a break in at the Federal Customs Impound. Suspects are escaping in a customs truck. I want roadblocks everywhere. Every cop in town's gonna be on their way. So let's get out of sight, fast as you can, Tom. Another checkpoint! Give it a wide berth, Tommy. back in the compound. We were about to give up. The place was a maze. It's a miracle I found the crates. Next time we pull something like this, we need a better plan. More information. A better plan? He got the ice, didn't he? Yeah, but next time... Well, next time what? We run it all through you? The scores like these are your best thing? Guys, I'm trying to drive here. Let's get back to the warehouse without LHPD on our tail, huh? Sure. We got the diamonds, the boss will be happy. That's all that matters right now. Those rocks had better be as big as the goddamn rich for all the crates we had to move tonight. It's the worst of it. I don't look too good. Don's gonna be pissed if we ruined any of the cigars. What the hell? Christ. It's dope. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Where are the diamonds? There ain't any. This is the real score. No. No, 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 no. Don said we would get diamonds. You can open every box. You're not going to find them. We put our fucking necks out on the line for this shit. Looks like it. You better cool off, Polly. The Don's coming. Shit. We don't say nothing about this to the Don. Okay, if he wanted us to know, he would have told us. He should have come clean. Sure. But for now, we keep our trap shut. Right? Yeah, okay. Polly? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I ain't saying nothing. Any problems, boys? One of the crates got a little banged up, is all. All right. Oh, doesn't look too bad. Might have lost a few cigars, but otherwise the merchandise should be okay, boss. Besides, ain't diamonds supposed to be the hardest thing around? Outside of my cock, maybe. Oh, bravo, boys, bravo. You all got a well-deserved bonus coming your way. You want us to unload the crates into the warehouse? No, you can take a powder. These morons are gonna take it from here. You sure? 
What I say. Okay, boss. We'll dangle. Sam, give me a lift back to the bar. Sure, boss. You guys coming? Nah, we'll take the train. Okay. See you later. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? I already told you. The bank. Yeah. I don't care what Sam says. I'm getting that score. How much you figure? You want in? We're just talking. I knew I could count on you, pal. So which bank? Grand Imperial. Near North Park meets downtown. Yeah, been there. A while back. Well, the security don't look tight. Easy getaway. Tellers who don't look like they put up a fight. Can't do it alone. Maybe. I'm not moving Black Tar for the Don. Especially if he's not cutting us in. And... I don't know. I just never want to be in that street again. What street? On my knees. Watching some poor skirt burn just because she got in our way. It was the wrong place in the wrong time. Just tough luck. Seems there ain't no other kind with us. I'm telling you, Tom, this is perfect. I wouldn't ask you to come in on this if I didn't think it was our ticket. We'll see. I'm not signing up for the job until I see what's what. If I get pinched, Sarah's done with me. You got a family to look after. I get that. But think about what this could mean for them. Watch it, buddy. You're treading into enemy territory without a map. Yeah. I don't know what it's like for you going home to your wife and kid. But that's why I'm doing this. Who's gonna marry me? I'm nearly 40 years old and nothing to show for it but my rap sheet. But we do this? I get enough scratch to finally get out? Who knows? You're not built for the domestic life, Polly. Six months in, you'll put a bullet in your brain out of boredom. Christ. I'm ready to punch my ticket right now. We sit around for six months, just playing cards and busting balls, and I start to get lazy. Then everything blows up, and I gotta knock the rust off or I'm dead. One day I'm fighting to stay awake while the Don's telling us a story about the old days. One I've already heard a hundred times, and the next day, the next day I'm getting shot at, I'm trying to keep from shit in my pants. It's fucking wearing me out, Tommy. So you're looking for the big one, though. I know it's a snipe hunt. Every little monster goes to bed dreaming about that last big score. But if we do this thing, I don't know. Might be just enough to get me a little pizzeria or something, you know? Sure. But if we're doing this, we're waiting till things calm down. Ah, you're already hooked, pal. Maybe. stays the same. Right. I take care of the crowd. You handle the manager. Threats don't work. Do what you gotta do. Keeps the vault keys on them. 
So you tell her sounds the alarm. How long do we get? Five minutes. Maybe more. For the cop show. What if it all goes to hell? I'm not fucking around, Tom. You hear gunshots down at the vault? Don't come up. It's the money or nothing at all. You doing this? We're doing it. Stay where we can see your pretty faces. Anybody moves, I'll pop them. Get the manager. I need you all to stay on the ground. I see movement, people start getting shot. With me, down to the vault. I'll do whatever you say. No one needs to get hurt. No kidding around, you saw contact? This make you feel big? Beating on a little guy? It's making me feel rich. And the little guy gets to what walk away doing? if he doesn't do anything stupid. How many guards at the vault? One. You gonna shoot? I don't know. If I see a gun, he gets a bullet. So you tell him to stand down. It's all on you. Manager here is being good and cooperative. We're all doing what we're told, aren't we, buddy? Keep moving! You won't get away with this. Your sort never do. You just worry about yourself. You want to see your daughter graduate from high you, school. I'm you keep your hands you. where I can see them and tell your guard to do the same. Remember. When we get to your guard, you tell him to drop his gun. You got that? Let's go. Oh, get it. Get it. I got it! Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Wake your morning! Damn it. The cops are here! Let's go. Get the money, it's time to go. Get 
Let's go, Tommy. We're in the Palermo Club. Sam's Club. Hey, it's empty right now. What he don't know can't hurt him. To go. I'll see you tomorrow. Unless I'm halfway to Hawaii. Oh, come on. I'm kidding. Hey, I couldn't have done this without you. I know that. Go home, celebrate with Sarah, come by my place in the morning, we'll split up the dough. Yeah, okay. Good luck. See you around, pal. <laughs> Well, look at this. Christ has finally risen. I was getting ready to call the coroner. Sorry. I had a bit of trouble falling asleep this off. Me too. Thanks to you tossing and turning all night. Okay, what you do? We're just feeling lucky, is all. Got that right, champ. 
But I've been thinking. Oh, yeah? I'll call the papers. I've been thinking about taking you and a kid out to the shore. You serious? Ain't you working? Uh, Polly and me, we've come into some money. Huh. One of his cracked angles finally pay off? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Pack a few bags. I'll swing by after I go around to Polly's. What ain't you telling me, Tommy? Nothing. Sure, you and Polly are suddenly flush, and now you want to leave town for a few days? That don't square. What's the point of making a buck if we can't spend it? That ain't it. You're moving, even when you're standing still. Yeah, you're nervous about something. Polly, you don't even know why yet. Well, that must be it. You better figure it out before you get to Polly's. Just in case it's him that got you all wound up. <laughs> Polly's all right. Don't worry about it. Well, I guess I'll see you soon. This neighborhood's going to the dogs. What happened to your door? You're a last night. Nah, I've been working nights. Guy in the apartment above you is raising hell. Polly! Slumped over in a hallway, torn a fucking skull. Oh God, I was, I was calling the warning. About what? Jesus Christ! I owe you fellas my life three times over. Warn him about what, Sam? Salieri. He found out about the bank job. You're in deep shit, Tom. You gotta uh, disappear. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I just need some cash to get me and the girls out of town. Can you swing that? Sure. You want me to come to Polly's? No. No, I can't stay here. Uh, meet me at the, the city gallery. Yeah, okay. Keep your head down, Tom. I'll see you soon. And uh, thanks, Sam. I always pay my debts, son. You know that. I'm gonna call the cops. Something ain't right. Someone said it could have been gunshots.
Don't move, Tommy. Shit. Hey, Tom. Sam. What the hell's going on? You and Polly. You put me in a bad spot. I know, Sam, but I'm sorry about that, but I need to get out of town. Can you help me or not? There you go again. Making me choose between my friends and the family. This is what you were looking for, Polly's. Here's your cut. It's more than you deserve. Sam. You killed him. You killed Polly. No. Polly got himself killed. And you seem real tore off about it. I'm just in a good mood. Things are right between me and the Don. I'm moving up, and I just found this big bag of money. The Don knows about Frank, Tom. The whore, too. That whore? The girl you were sweet on? You're the one that let her live. I'm sorry about this, Tom. But our business has rules. It's a shame, too. Don Salieri really liked you. Guess we'll both have a good cry at your funeral. You think you're doing this because you're loyal, but you're not. You're just scared. Maybe. But you would have lived a lot longer if you would have just looked over your shoulder from time to time. Goodbye. Don't let him suffer, boys. He's my buddy. Gonna drop you off the bridge. Over here! You're in my sights. Now, now! The books are open for the guy that takes him down! Where'd you go, Sim? Business is business, Tom. I know that you, out of all of them, know that. No more of your friends have to die today, Tom. No one but you. Put them to sleep! I'll miss our talks back at the bar. I won't. Self-righteous fuck. When you fuck with the boss, you fuck with us all. You're a good guy, Tom. A real good guy. It's a shame.
opening him up! Still had respect for the Don, you'd swallow this down. Cats! Fuck you, Sam! I know you do the same, Tom. Hell, I know you've done the same. This is getting serious, boys. Take him out! Running out of guys yet! Still not over, Tom! <sighs> Salieri was ripping us off! Ripping you off, baby! From me? I play these things smart! for another dead gangster. Oh. 
fucking shot town. But the thing about drug money is it pays for a lot of muscle. Put them down, boys. I know that. I've seen it grow in you for years. But now, there's only one way out. And I'm the guy that gets to give it to you. However far you run, Salieri will find you. This isn't a life you can just finish with. You're in, killing it. I'm glad you bought yourself some more time, I really am. But this ain't a fight you're gonna win. Nobody's carrying you to the doctor this time, Sam. You kill me now in the dawn. She's never gonna stop looking for you. But you let me live. I'll tell Salieri you're dead. You can disappear. Just like Frank. Only you'll be smart enough to stay gone. Right? What happened to him? He was hiding out in Europe. What a dumb bastard. She started betting at the dog track. Got spotted by a friend of the family. So Salieri, he sent out a crew. And his family? That little voice in the back of your head. Maybe sounds like your baby girl, Sarah. Always telling you not to pull that trigger. And you can't make up your mind. It's getting easier every time you open your fucking mouth. <laughs> we sure had some laughs, right? Remember that time? Me, you. Polly, sympathize with the situation, Tom, and I want to help your family, but I can't do anything unless you're willing to testify in court. You understand that, right? 
you'll have to sit in that box, stare down Salieri, Ralphie, Vinny, maybe even Sarah's father. I, I don't know if you got the stones for it, if I'm being honest. I'll do what needs to be done. But you need to get my family new identities and ship them far away from here. Well, hold on. There's a long road between us sitting here bumping gums and Sarah sleeping under new stars. Then I'm sorry I wasted your time. And mine. I gotta get out of town. Look, Tom. I got a family too. Wife. Four boys. All Irish twins. Yeah. So you know I understand what you're going through. All the worrying over them, the fear that one of them's gonna go before you do. But this case, it'll be one of the biggest this city has ever seen. It could drag on for years. I don't know if I can protect you for that long, not the way things are downtown. Everyone's gotta eat, right? Even dirty cops. Just being honest here, I mean, there's a few bodies I can trust downtown, but not many. And if it comes down to you or me taking a bullet, I'm not gonna make my wife a widow. Keeping you alive in exactly the moral course, but I'll try. That's a pretty good sales job. <laughs> Trying to make me think you got nothing on the line. But this is your whole career right here. However it works out for me, whether I live or die, you get to crack the Morello case and take down a Don. Celieri will be your legacy. Don't go thinking you know me, Tom. Salieri belongs behind bars. I'll help you so long as you help me put him there. That's all this is. Then that has to be enough. time ago, in another life, someone once told me that family is a man's Achilles heel, his greatest weakness. Maybe he was right, because everything I've done, both good and bad, I've done for my family. I've turned my back on people they thought were my friends. I've kept a lot of hard promises. I spent eight years totally alone, trying to find myself so I could come home. A better husband, a better father, a better man. Now that I'm a lot older and just a bit wiser, <laughs> I see that family is our greatest weakness, but it's also our greatest strength. It gets us out of bed in the morning. Well, lets us chase our dreams, even when they're moving too fast to catch. It keeps us from falling over when we're too tired to take another step. Mr. Angelo. Yes. Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Tommy! 
best pals will come and go but family family is forever 